Energy last round of games await in the group phase of the Euros and it'll be interesting to see which teams advance through to the round of 16. Here's our preview of the games. My name is Ayo Videshus and this is The Nutmeg on Guardian TV. Wallace joins me on this episode of Nutmeg and uh, we really have to talk about some groups where, I mean, things are not done yet. Um, group C, D and E. One of uh, the groups has England, the three Lions, not been convincing so far, but they lead uh, Group C by four points. And Denmark trails them. Denmark has two points. Slovenia just behind them, also on two points. And then Serbia almost confirmed that they'll be out of one. But still, Serbia have a good shout. I mean, they win three points added to one, and they, they might have a shout yeah. to stay in the tournament as well. But we really have to talk about England. They've won one, and they've drawn one, but they've not been convinced. And there's been a lot of talk. And what do you think? is wrong with England. Yeah, obviously, irrespective of whatever happens, England are going through. But you then again, so? okay. we need to understand one thing. They are not playing the way we expect. You know, they are the top dog in this group and everybody expect them. It should be a stroll, nine points maximum. But then again, here we are, three points and then which is Not always convincing. like the story of English side. But what do you think? So, I think I felt like they've been in, incoherent. Yeah, yeah inconsistent. The, inconsistent the, the coach, too. The coach is the main challenge here. The talent is there squad-wise, but the tactical progress of Gary Southgate is is not a, is not it for me. Okay, just a quick one. Some people have suggested that they should do a Cote d'Ivoire, sack Gary Southgate, and then go on to win. Oh. Then who is in the floor? Who is in the market for them? Who is there? Who is the coach that will handle this team? England is just between the box right now. Okay. So. Okay, interesting. Let's let's move to Group D very quickly. I mean, this mm. is where things get interesting. The, the Netherlands lead currently by goal difference, four points, but then the same number of points with France, and uh, Austria comes behind them in uh, with three points and third. Poland are confirmed out at this stage. I mean, they've not got a single point so far. But mm. things get interesting. Poland, France face Poland. And it's more or less like at least you'd expect France to get at least a point and secure qualification with or without it. But however, the story is at the end of the day. But the Netherlands run a risk of not qualifying for the round of 16, even despite topping the group at the moment. Because if Austria, who I think are disciplined side, should beat them, then they're in trouble. Hmm. Okay, let me pick it from Poland. Well, Arriva Dachi to Lewandowski is gone, yeah. irrespective. Then let me focus more on the most interesting aspect, Netherlands and Austria. Ragnik coaches Austria, they play free flowing football, but irrespective, the experience is there. Absolutely. Netherlands are going through. Netherlands should have defeated France in the last game. Even not from VAR controversy. controversy. Yeah. So Netherlands will go through. Maybe by a slim margin, but I see them in fact topping the group. I see them topping the group. Just the way it is, that's how the group is going to end. But what Netherlands. if Poland beats France and Austria somehow manage to get a result? There will be trouble in Paris. Maybe a draw. Because <laughs> <laughs> anything is really possible in that group as it stands, Football. except that Poland will not go through. I mean, no point at this stage. But what if they just, you know, Poland will be playing for pride, at mm. least. They mm. want to secure a point, 30 points. They don't want to go into Germany and just leave Germany without nothing. France is playing for their life. They have not been convincing by their standards, but not someone like Poland. There is no pride where France is yet to qualify for the next round. And they know what is at stake. A draw between Netherlands and Austria could put the tooth and remember again there is always this um, best loser okay so first there's always the best loser but first france will go through well if you if you thought that group d was the most difficult i think you should check group e <laughs> where things are really dicey <laughs> romania belgium slovakia and ukraine all level on three points <laughs> and then um to to finalize that group slovakia will face romania and then ukraine face Belgium. Ukraine will face Belgium. The people, Belgium, by the way, yeah. just before I let you do that, Belgium are always in the top five, top three, every time the monthly FIFA rankings is released, but they find themselves in a sort of limbo. It's disappointing that this current crop of stars have nothing to share except for FIFA ranking. Now I'm talking <laughs> about Belgium. And then there's this Ukraine that 
half of the world right now emotionally they are backing them we all know the reason but football is not played based on emotion it's not mathematical but they play emotionally too i mean the way yeah. they play i didn't expect them to win their last game against i think slovakia i won't be surprised if ukraine does this underdog stuff and they stun the world okay i'm not giving belgium a 70 percent chance to qualify they, they are disappointing from the beginning based on their standard it should be a walkover but then again here we are second in the group romania and then slovakia anything is possible over there but ukraine my eyes is fixed on ukraine to do damage to belgium yes <laughs> okay yes that'll be interesting my prediction that would be a be story for the ages really. in one new score line okay ukraine's favor are you yes. saying belgium won't score with the yeah, amount I of talent they have trust this team okay yeah. okay we'll see how things so. pan out uh but uh for your final prediction which okay. two teams will qualify from group e from group e romania ukraine okay from group d there's Netherlands, there's France, there's Austria. Just the way it is, Netherlands and France will go through. And yeah. then experience we count. We would expect that England qualifies. Uh, That's your expectation, but I'll still give it to Denmark and then probably England. Yeah. Yeah. England but will go. no chance for Slovenia. No chance for Serbia. Because no anything chance. is possible in that group. Is possible. Yeah, but there's no chance. England will go through, Denmark will go through as well. Okay, interesting way to build up to the round of 16 yeah. of the Euros. I mean, We'll wait to see which teams will complete uh, uh, the uh, round of 16, uh, a list of teams that will compete in the next phase as it stands now. We know Portugal are there, we know some countries are there as well, but we'll see how things pan out. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of the Not Men Gang. Of course, you can be part of the community by hitting the subscribe button there. You instantly get access to all our videos consistently when you tap the notification bells as well. Uh, thank you very much, Solace, for You're making welcome. the show and yeah. uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.